Some of your students are renowned yeah. scientists. For instance, yeah. um, Frank Welchak, yes. who won the Nobel Prize with you together yeah. in 2004, and also um, Edward Wheaton, who is the recipient of the uh, Fields Medal, right. and so on. And well, you've been working with so many young scientists yeah. now. So what would be your advice to those young scientists who are trying to make a difference in the yeah. fields of science, who are trying maybe one day also to win a Nobel? Well, my way that I worked with students uh, was to actually bring them into the collaboration to work with me, which is different than the way some people treat their students. They give them a problem and the student goes off. And um, so that's not my style because, uh, especially with students of, the, of this very high quality, it's great to have such collaborations, but I also think it's the only way to really teach students how to function at the highest level. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to teach people to be creative. We don't know how to teach people to have new ideas. Uh, we can only teach them by example. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's a, it's a good way to treat first my advice to young people is to start doing research, real research as soon as possible because that's the only way you'll learn how to think and how to, how to really do uh, good scientific research. Why do you believe it is important for students to ask the questions instead of answering them? Well, the hardest part, that really is the uh, secret of good science, mm -hmm. the questions. When questions are asked in a precise way, then most of the work is done. It's really the hardest part is to ask the right questions, to realize that, okay, well, maybe what everybody thinks is wrong. Maybe something should be a different way of looking at it. Once you have well-formulated questions, the answers will come. The answers will come. The questions are hardest. And it's the, that's why basic science is so important, because the questions that we ask in basic science are questions posed by nature, mm -hmm. by the real world.